Uh, I would like to call upon our next speaker, uh, Dr. Mike McKinn, who is the director of HIV Frontiers and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and is going to talk about. Please welcome him. Mike is a very kind friend, and that's why they clapped for you when Dr. Sissi was speaking. You also clapped for yourself, I saw that. I didn't know what she was saying, but if she said that I love you in this country, that's true. Yeah, that's true, and, and I'm glad you clapped for yourself as I well. I did. I yeah. clapped for all of, all of you. <laughs> all right, so Dr. Mike McKeon is going to talk about bringing affordable, accessible, and acceptable HIV and sickle cell disease curative interventions to sub-Saharan Africa, and why this is important. You're most welcome. The last question that was asked in that of HIV by the cell therapies that Jen and Rimas talked about. He was open about this. He had a partner. He took PrEP in order to prevent himself from becoming reinfected after the cure that almost killed him, actually. So he, he essentially substituted three pills for two pills. Chagamanti era empiseno ewonya kauka. Boche batu nuli ranti, buobo mazo kujifuna, teto damu kufuna kauka, gawega seno muntu, umulala ina kauka. Tupate tugamba genda, ukolenga vola, na ye, nga, empise yo ekuziza, ukufuna kauka ate. So the cure has to not only bring the viral load down and prevent transmission from the person who gets it to somebody else, but prevent reinfection of the person who is cured. I'm, I'm stacking this up on tall water, but as I said, I have 100% hope. Yeah, Pre prevents reinfection. No? Very good. Yeah, yeah. It has to be safe. Ab absolutely, it has to be safe. It has to be something that is affordable. What's affordable? For HIV now in sub Saharan Africa with PEPFAR, right, the 18, what's about 107 billion has come into, into Africa. The price point is about $1,500 per person per year. Katiera Gates Foundation, Tia Kolakat, Mukuno Nyereza Kona, Kwekulabanti, Edagada Yevazula, Lidi Wansi, who sent us to Sobola, or Kusobola, and the government is a fee. Batunulida, Omuendo, Guadola, Lukumi Mobitano. So that's the price point. Yeah. A very tall order, okay? And I'm going to tell you about two ways that we're now thinking about doing that. And we're not just thinking about doing this. Over the past four years, we've made a, a large number of investments in different labs, in academic institutions, and in companies to pursue two approaches, okay? So one approach is to ask the question, if I can put a vector, you've heard about vectors, okay? Remas talked about them. There are many different types. If we can put a vector into the arm that will target the hematopoietic stem cell, the mother cell, in, in the bone marrow. Emu kungeri katijibaro woza okukola nti vector mwaji uli deruli na e vector eringa e motoka nti njaga la kugenda Kampala ne motoke jaku ntuse Kampala nga ndi mukakati wano vector musaya nsono gwe tukola ere eringe motoka nti tuteka mu ndaga butonde gwe twagala ne tumukuba mu mpiso na agenda awo we twagala akole na dala mu cells zezo ze tuita mother cells zibera mu bone marrow Good. Good. Five years ago, presenting this to leadership at the Gates Foundation, they said, fine, what are you going to do? How are you going to change the bone marrow cell so that HIV can be cured? And I said, I don't know, because I did not know. But I did say, hey, I know exactly how to fix sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease was not part of the agenda, for whatever reason, it still escapes me, of the Gates Foundation. It is now, because it is something which we know we can fix, like I said before. And we've been energizing by giving money. Another biblical reference, Rimas, what's the golden rule?
Yeah, well, the, another one is um, he or she who has the gold <laughs> makes the rules. Okay, so we went to farm, we, we went to 50 or so different companies and labs, and at this point in time, four years later, we have two companies that we're working with to cure sickle cell disease by this vectorized approach. And the rules that we laid down include the following. First, they have to put skin in the game. When we put money in, they put an equal amount of money in. Secondly, they have to be good partners. When we call them up, they have to call us back up. Thirdly, they have to provide something called global access. That is to say, if they, if they make something on our dollar, and there's two, they have to promise that they will make it accessible to all parts of the world, including this part of the world. Era kati boche bako zenga gets foundation. Ba bano nyesa company zeba sowo lo kola nabo. Ne baba wa sente ne company ne ste kamu sente. Na yenga bata demu ne sickle cell disease. Kubanga sickle cell disease already tulina idagala katali. Kati tuwa galo kozi sabi tu ize mo uh, na rubiri. Tulave tubi kozi sabi tia o kukola kukauka ka HIV o kuzula ili idagala ili sowo lo kwenye zadala HIV. Since that time, too, the blanks in my brain about how to deal with HIV have been filled out by research that has been done in the interim. So we have a much better idea of how to modify this mother cell so that there could be a cure for HIV. And we have two companies now working with us. CRISPR is one of them. BioNTech is another. To modify cells such that they can be brought into the clinic for cures for HIV using a shot in the arm. Era company zino bamazo kutegera gana na zonti bweziba si bweziba zijja kufuna eddagala. Kyetaga bwetazi mwaka gumu ebiri esatu. Na ye bweziba zifunye eddagala lino bayino kubanti eddagala lili ku sente nafe ze tusobola kola chi okusobola no lweche dagale elio terijia kome eyo nafi wano lijia kuma eyo kwe kulubi lirua gets foundation kwe liko era kwe kulako ne companies already ezilina obusobozi how soon will this happen it's hard to tell there can be any kind of obstacle that occurs in the process of science but we're now looking at an interval of time which is much shorter than I imagined five years ago, because there's a lot of incentive now to make this work. Why? Because we know from the $2.9 million price tag that American companies are going to charge for ex vivo, we call it, out of the body gene therapy, there's no business. And so the, the companies are looking to this as a way to actually do good while also having a business. Kati agama nti chino china jadi sifena sitia tuvuza. E, tuna jencha nedda. Na ye nga fena tuline suubi. Mwa ulide 100%, 100, chikumi kuchikumi, chikumi kuchikumi kuchikumi. Chino chijia kubera wo. Na ye tuino kuchuobu. De wali webi ntubinje biba de bibera wo mungeri science jia genza kula. Okulaba nti echiro oto chino cheba yogera ko chijia kutu ukirira. Ate dagala lijia kututu ukako nafi wano wetuli. Na ena feno tetugenda kutula e, no kulinda. Tugenda kuwa kuatama vumba vumba kati onuwa mulese wano. E, ajia kuta yona yera tujia kubanga tumuliko. Those are my additions. Thank you. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Okay, so this, this platform, I think, will move forward. Scientifically, there's one issue, and that relates to safety. Will it be safe? I do not know the answer to that question yet. We will be able to figure it out before we harm anybody. The second issue is going to be accessibility, affordability, and acceptability. Okay, and that's a lot of work. That's where all of you are here. That's why... The work that you're doing here to teach people will be so incredibly important. 
But those are those are things that are true for any kind of new kind of medicine. Agamanti edagala lino lili no kubedanga teri tukosa nga abantu. Era weli tutukira ko nga bamazo kuligezesa. Na ye abuza edagala sengali tuse mwandi agadde okulifuna. <laughs> okay. Mwandi agadde okulifuna te tuva tuino kubanga tukola namwe. Kubanga ebintu bingi omuntu omu agenda natula wansi na rooza cha roozeza na kiteka ku mawulire nagamba nno eri eddagala yebalese ligenda kubatta kati twino okola okubera nga tukola namwe nga fena tusoma wamu mutegere chichi che tukola ne waje tulaga I'll close because I want to hope this time for questions with another um, approach I mentioned earlier there are two okay the other approach has only come up in the past three years when I first started at the Gates Foundation, I didn't know about this approach. It, it derives from the um, work that Jen mentioned on this 0.1% of all people who get HIV and who can control it using the CD8 killer T cells that somehow they have and others do not have. Over the past three to four years, the the parts of HIV that are recognized by those CD8 T cells have become better understood. The ways in which those killer T cells remove the HIV that still remains have become better understood. And we're working with the, bio, with the company BioNTech on a separate project to make an HIV vaccine that will look very much like the COVID vaccine. It's made from mRNA and it's covered by a vector called a lipid nanoparticle. And guess what? We've learned a lot about this kind of technology because of COVID. And they anticipate being into the clinic by the end of next year. So that's very fast. There's another company called Veer that has another similar technology with whom we are also working. And they should be able to come into the clinic, if not at the end of next year, not long after that. So these are very immediate events that will occur. Science so you abadde mukambwe sija kumudda mu yenna na yenga uh, Gates Foundation ekola ne companies endala bidi eina engeri endala yetwandi se platform je yagalo kola mu uh, na yo ngabako pa ku bantu wali wa bantu ababera ne HIV for ekisera kiwanvu na yenga viral load eri wansi kwe gamba bayinenge lije ba controllinga viral load ngate bali na kudagala kati aba bantu babadde babasoma ne nga balabe duachi bana abantu bo ba controllinga akawuka mu mubiri gwabwe kati waliwo obutofali bwe basanga nti bo balina obutofali obwenja ulo ku bantu abalala kati obo bwe bakozesa Companies no zeba kola nazo, balo wazanti study, eya e product yo zeba kola, eja kuvera mu kliniki, omwa koko gudianga gugua koko, katia wachenza bwa no mkuano guafe, unga amangu dalanga zigenze mu kliniki na fimo tuteke mo, can you involve us? Yes. In these first in human trials. Indeed, you bet. Wano wabadde wamu tu yabadde yaga logena mu trial, there is already a volunteer. Yeah. Uh, wait, be patient, we will be here. I'll, I'll summarize, okay? So, in our healthcare systems, there clearly are inefficiencies and disparities, and these must be fixed. Secondly, HIV is a pandemic that must, we must get rid of. Thirdly, in order to do that, we have to provide incentives within the environment where we live. If it's companies that are making these drugs, we have to give them the incentives to make it so that it's available to all. And I think one way to do that, there are other ways to do it, is through philanthropy. And I think we're, we're looking for other ways to do it as well. I think government support, PEPFAR, et cetera, require additional inputs. But this is the kind of process by which we would hope to be able to get therapies for cure for HIV and sickle here, yes, as soon as possible. And I'll, I'll stop there. Oh, welcome. Well, 
we can clap for you too, Sissy. Nayoba waliyebi vuzo. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Uh, you have been talking about the injections, and you said if they inject you, uh, if you said if they inject you, you should not sleep with someone who is positive again, because the injection will be preventing you from what, from yes. the virus. I was asking. I'm so eager to know what will happen if you sleep with someone who is positive. Will you be able to go and inject yourself again, or I don't know? No, the um, it's a very good question. The question is, if you have received a curative intervention of the type that I've talked about, will you be able to sleep? Yeah with somebody who is either infected or uninfected, right? You, can you be reinfected? The answer to that question is no. We cannot make a therapy that will allow for reinfection. So yes, you could sleep with somebody who is infected if this, if this approach works. Secondly, can you sleep with somebody who is uninfected? And here it's the U equal U. If we can bring the viral load down below basically 1,000 copies per mil, it's very unlikely that you would spread the virus to your partner. Did that, or do you want Sissy to, yeah. Um, in the back there, yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Mike. Mine goes direct to the, the, the two methods, but I'm only concentrating in one. That is the vector. The vector we are going, if we are to receive it, it's a shot on the arm. Uh, so we're asking, is as we the vector targets the mother cell and it's in the bone marrow and we are giving the shot on the arm won't it affect other cells before reaching the mother cell secondly can uh, i answer that question first okay yes the 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 trick is to find a vector that only goes to the hematopoietic stem cell the mother cell and that avoids other cells. That's the, that's the ideal. Anything that is preferentially towards the mother cell and away from other cells would be possibly acceptable. Okay, the second one is uh, that uh, you guarantee for us the safety, uh, affordability, and accessibility. You leave the acceptance to us, the advocates. We shall push for the acceptance. Thank you so much. Except uh, there was a very um, smart postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Bob Grant, who came up with the idea of pre-exposure prophylaxis in 2009. And it was, he published a paper in 2011 with Gilead giving Truvada every day. And he showed if you did that, it worked to prevent infection. He never asked the question to the people who were taking the Truvada, will you accept this? And that turned out to be a hard sell. So yes, it's really important, it's in part why I'm here, to understand that what we're doing could be acceptable. And that, that's, I think, you know, key, key for me. Oh, I see. COVID nga olukusense bage makwe gamba abantu abatanna bakafuna na draba na bato na abatan na batakalina okuberanga tibakwati wakauka ne yanza nyo ne yanze so uh, very good question in summary she thanked you and our guests and uh, she said she's been listening very attentively and she's very excited about the prospects of an HIV cure by an injection, but she's saying for those ones who are HIV negative and the children, what have you done uh, or what are you doing to provide a prevention vaccine? Great question. Um, 
the road to creation of a vaccine that will prevent HIV has been long and mostly full of failures. We're now talking about a vaccine that could be used to treat people who are infected and suppressed to ask if they can then come off therapy, right? Durable, antiretroviral free suppression. That's a much different um, clinical trial, if you will, because you need a smaller number of people and the endpoint's very clear. Either they can come off therapy and suppress the virus because the vaccine is given the right immune response or not. And so this part of the um, program has been grasped, um, accepted by people that are looking at preventative vaccines as a route to find a preventative vaccine. I'll say too, those of you who are uninfected are most liable to be infected by having contact with somebody that is infected and that has a high viral load. And it, we can model this out. If we can bring all those people who have a high viral load to have a no viral load, there'll be no transmission. In other words, the best vaccine, ironically, to prevent new infections might be a vaccine that treats existing infection. Agambie nti echintu echi singira dalobu kulu okujia wo avantu abapio kufuna obulu wade. Kwe kujia njaba abo, ababulina, obo kubawonya, nebalio kababa angateva siga, sicho? Sibe ba siga abata ina? Aha, echa achoge denaga mantina ye orugendo lukuno nya vaccine. Eziza akauko kukwata Luba deru wangu ilalu chagenda maso Na ye ebintu ye tutu seko Nobu kuguka chobudi wumu kunonye reza muku wonya Akauka kasirimu Ezo engeli zetu koze sana Zozi inzo koze sebwa Mukunonya vaksini e, e, Eziza akauka Na enge chikulu Bojia wabantu abo Aba inzo kubana haka uka mumusai Nga kari waguru Nga atebe bagendo kusigo mtu wa dirira Awonevi ya prevention Obobi koze yuko Okuziiza Well thank you very much for All your good questions And all that you're doing And let's also give Sissy A big round of applause <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Sisi and Dr. Mike. A bigger hand clap for them as they can. <laughs>